behalf of all of us here at Woda Cooper Companies, we want to pay tribute to the military veterans who live in our communities. And we are so grateful to you, to the sacrifices you have made to serve our country. We're grateful to your families. We are so honored to provide a place for you to call home. As a company, we prioritize hiring and housing veterans. Sometimes we think of affordable housing as a concept and not as individuals. Hopefully this video shed some light on the individuals who live in our affordable housing units. Awoda Cooper, I'm very impressed with. They truly put their residents first. They understand the needs of senior citizens. I was injured during in the service, and what I really like about this place is, is number one, the elevator. I love the handrails. They have handrails everywhere. Most of all, I really like the people. I'm very happy to be, to be one of their residents. I was inducted into the Army in May of 58. Spent two years in Japan, and then the rest of it was active and in active reserves. I uh, spent 24 years on active duty. I did uh, my tour in Desert Storm, and then I did three tours in Iraq, actually. But I was 28 days away from my discharge when we hit the IED, and that's uh, how I became disabled. But there's not a lot of ADA approved type of housing that's available. So I'm very, very happy about being here. I really honestly have, couldn't have asked for anything better. I feel the veterans should be honored no matter what. Right. We have a good group of people here that like to, they, they care and people. like doing things, you know, for the betterment. Very well, good. we support each other. Yeah, too. we do. We had all funds within two months to profit this memorial. My name is John Mack, Jr. I am a United States Air Force veteran. It's been a long time ago, but I joined the Army Reserve Unit. It was a military police escort guard which we did regular police issues, but we also would deal with the POWs on the front line back to the prison camps and stuff. It's just, it was quite an experience. And made you not only a better person, more educated to life. If you need to get something done, you try to get it done. You learn how to take care of yourself and help people. They weren't real proud of us in the 60s. I kind of felt that way myself for a little bit. Uh, nah, uh-uh. Yeah, I'm very proud of our service. We do a lot of uh, community outreach, and quite often a lot of those guys that are seeking a home are veterans. And now they may be underhoused, poorly housed, or not housed at all. I feel that of all people I want to help, it's those guys. They have 21 apartments allotted for veterans in this building. I marveled over that alone because they were really thinking of the veterans. I'm just grateful. I joined the military, the Army, in 1986-88. I had gone over to Germany, my first tour of duty. I loved it. I had to look deep down inside of myself to be able to do that, and it wasn't easy for women back then. I'm just grateful I have a place to live. To call my own, because it is mine. To me, it was just uh, something we had to do. People always ask me, said, you know, what did you do in the Army? And I'd say, well, whatever they asked me to do, but I have to change that statement. Whatever they told me to do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the way it is, isn't it? You know, when it comes to Woda Cooper companies, I just got to say, I salute the owners, Jeff and David, when you bring in individuals that have served who understand how important mission is, how important people are, because all of us who have served had to rely on somebody else in order to get the mission accomplished, and that's what we do. 
here at Woda Cooper Companies. My wife and I, we actually ended up being um, homeless and to have a big corporation like, like Woda come through and actually pay attention and, you know, care, it's nice. It's, you know, it makes you feel appreciated for what you did in service. Quite frankly, this is the nicest place we've ever lived in. And this is an amazing community and I, I just could not be any happier. I believe it's uh, important to honor the vets that have gone out and served their country and to have a place that honors that and thanks them for that, it really sits well with us. HVF is privileged to partner with Woda Cooper Companies to provide Indianapolis homeless and near homeless veterans a safe and affordable housing option. I went into Harvard in 1951 and there was a career conflict going on at that time. And I served in Korea for 19 months. When I joined the military, you know, I said, David, this uh, military helped me out a lot. I volunteer. We went over to Vietnam. I served my country, and I was one of the lucky ones who made it back. And we weren't met very good back in 1970s and that, but I'm proud of what I did. I like being a veteran, and I like the point that I went and served and did my time. I'm proud that I live in this country, which is the best country in the world. I went to service in uh, 1954, and I spent three and a half years in there. I had a good life. This has been a blessing for me being here. The most important thing is I feel safe here. I totally feel safe here. I do know that with homelessness comes a lot of things besides homelessness, addiction, vulnerability. I feel good, and it's never too late to get clean. I love my apartment, I take care of it. It's beautiful. Uh, everything in it is mine, and uh, I'm just happy here. Knowing that Woda Cooper Companies has uh, these programs in place to support uh, veterans who are staff at the company as well as some of our tenants really makes me feel like I've directed my passion into something that is uh, beneficial to the community. You know, it all comes full circle, really. I'm glad to work here. And, you know, I love this company and I love the United States of America. It's been a blessing as far as what it costs to live here. And I mean, to have something this nice, I can actually be comfortable and I think that's what God wants. I'm a veteran of the Vietnam War. I was uh, homeless and was able to be the first veteran to move into this property. I couldn't have a better place. That's the best way I can explain it. I hope and pray that many veterans can take this opportunity you've created for them on, in any of your properties. And thank you for doing all that you do for us.